Wrestlebound Rebound is brought to you by me. This is Jacob, by the way. I'm making this as Alex didn't have time to. So, you're welcome. Cause some mayhem. Mayhem is a thing. Was a thing. Two and a half stars for the console ports and two stars for the handheld. Alex, we have a problem here. Somebody has launched a complaint against you and wants me to act. Where's Cody? That can wait. Look, I'm sorry, Alex, but you forced my hand. You're gonna have to play it now. No, 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 you don't mean... Backstage assault. Damn you, Cody! Damn you! Well, here we are. I didn't picture myself ending up here so quick in my career, but that's what I get when I try to be me and not what management wants me to be or behave. Let's get this over with. I'm not going to have fun with this, so why should anyone else? I'm not going to put in any effort. Hell, I'm not going to show anything but unedited gameplay, and y'all are stuck until the video is done. You can't leave. That Red X and Backspace are non-existent. Try Control-Alt-Delete now! Yeah. I, I'm joking. I'm jo- I'm joking! God! But if you somehow leave, I'll know. Ugh, WCW Backstage Assault was the follow-up of WCW Mayhem, which we looked at last episode, and I tried so hard to avoid talking about it then because this game does carry a bad reputation. I mean, it was WCW in the year 2000, and EA was involved. That's a deadly duo to make a terrible... wrestling game. It was released for the PS1 in North America and Europe on Halloween and November 24th of the new millennium respectively, and on the Nintendo 64 but only in North America on December 12th. Support goes up to two players, and the ESRB rated it a T-14. Could you tell we're going backstage by this cover? Probably not, since the wrestlers are going straight through a wall, presumably out of the arena, or out of the game. I couldn't blame them either way. Goldberg wasn't doing much besides duplicating what already made him famous to save his job, while Kevin Nash, who I assume is getting jackknifed, was in a tag team with DDP known as the Insiders. Bet you there was a lot of Diamond Upside Down remarks by Big Daddy Cool. The back tries to show off the no-holds-barred brawling mentality of the game, but you're gonna find out it isn't all it appears to be. One thing to note about the N64 version is that the cartridge is blue. Guess they knew how shitty it was going to be, so they gotta make it stand out somehow. But they chose a crap color to begin with, and that's their loss. And I'm ready to lose my mind playing this. In case you had any doubt this game was going to be bad, remember my theory about opening sequences and as you can see, this has an FMV and no gameplay footage. But I can't deny I like what I see. This kind of catering to the male demographic screams desperation and Russo, but it's working on me. Regardless, I want to get through this as quick as possible, so let's head straight into an exhibition. And we don't have much to go off of with only over 20 wrestlers ready to be selected while the rest have to be unlocked. So there's only a third of the roster available, and this is what we got. Damn, damn it! Big Sexy Kevin! Bob 
Bob Bob Dad! Woo! And that guy, who's only known for standing on top of a hotel during a Hogan segment. But I'm picking David Flair because he's got a tire iron in his hand, so he's obviously qualified for this game. And he'll go against Psycho Sid Justice, and I hope there's a car around that I could crush in front of him. What was that feud even about anyway? Probably should have picked Goldberg, huh, so I could justify why I picked Sid in the first place. I originally thought the entrances were going to take the SmackDown approach of having the wrestlers walk in front of their Titan Trons, but no, it's just their Trons for 10 seconds and then fade to black. What did they call their Tron? The Turner Tron? Yeah, probably. Well, they were a better sight than what I saw right after them. I'll tell you what. My god. God, the graphics look horrendous. I couldn't even recognize Sid. It's so bad that my capture card doesn't like it as it's starting to fuck up. You know it's bad when your Elgato is having an aneurysm. I knew it was gonna be this bad, but I didn't know if the controls were gonna follow suit. You obviously move with the D buttons and have circle as a quick punch and X as a quick kick. Triangle is for special moves and square is for grappling or grabbing nearby weapons. Obviously after hitting square you can use other shape buttons with the D buttons to perform different moves and fill up your momentum meter, though that doesn't really matter cause nothing beats a random weapon lying around like a pipe or a tube light. Other buttons include L2 to free focus away from your opponent, R2 to taunt, R1 to run, and L1 to block as well as pin. Though the graphics look the absolute worst, these controls are pretty good. I'm able to play it, and that's despite all its other shortcomings. Though I'm able to get around and even perform stuff like leaping off an elevated platform, sometimes moves don't connect, I might try to do one thing but the button may do another cause it can do multiple things and defaults on one command over another, and these camera angles, they fucking suck. Now they're obviously trying to go for an arcade-like brawler, which I've said in the past I can get behind, but they should at least incorporate the squared circle in there too, because if you haven't noticed, the ring is not present in this game at all. Is it really a wrestling game then, WCW? Should be more like WCB, World Championship Bullshit. I stand by my belief of if a game has any sort of wrestling relation, let there be a ring, no matter the gimmick. This game of course took that away in favor of having just the whole backstage area for players to roam around, and if that was the case, why weren't more of the area unlocked to begin with? I'm fighting a battle of logic that I know I can't win, but I can at least win this match. It doesn't get any better on the N64, though it may look a little more polished, the action seems a bit slower, and I only knew half of the buttons with A and C down being the quick attacks. Why would you do this EA? Are you retarded? I lost over there just like how the N64 lost this console war to Sony. WCW Backstage Assault has been brought to you by Electronic Arts. Well, Tony, I think you can be blamed for two things now, changing the tide in the Monday Night War, and stroking the ego of Electronic Arts to where it is now. So considering the gimmick of this game, I should have seen this coming, but there are hardly any other match types you can try. And that's what happens when you handicap yourself. You miss out on all the other benefits. The only other match type on offer is First Blood, plus you could change a couple other settings if it was a normal match. And I just made this a ridiculous match between Jimmy Hart and Doug Dillinger. Remember him, the head of security at every WCW event? About time he got some recognition. And he can do flips. Now you know this shit is fake. Stop exposing the business, Doug. I won this match, though you couldn't tell because the mouth of the South had his face down. And I thought it'd be funny to get the women involved over on the Nintendo. But the game wouldn't let me. Now that's just sexist. Women can bleed too. What works for the men works for them too. Like a pay-per-view. I don't know how much more I can take of this. 
Luckily, there isn't much left to go over, so maybe I'll live. Nothing a bit of cocaine can't fix. First things first, global options are just options that aren't global in any way. This game didn't come out in Japan, so global my ass. Hall of Champions just shows the current top 10 ranking superstars and the champs that hold the titles. Not sure how that works entirely, but maybe I could get myself up there once I create my own wrestler. Now credit where credit was due, since the controls were serviceable, so is this comm mode. There's a lot of customizable options available, and I got a decent example of my greatness, just missing the hat again. WCW is doing me dirty, but I guess I would lose it in a brawl in the back. Now let's take him on the hardcore gauntlet, and you guys already know how I find gauntlet matches to be, just very overused and boring as a mode. Though I did learn that characters have different attire as Doug Dillinger kindly illustrated before I beat him to a pulp, but then I quickly lost to Jimmy Hart in another part of the arena. That dude was fucking quick, it's no wonder why it was hard to catch him and then suck him in the mouth. Finally, we're at the Hardcore Challenge, where you can go for the titles previously mentioned and unlock a majority of the things unavailable to you by doing certain tasks in every match. First bout is against Medusa. No blood, but opposite sex wrestling? Man, this game. Are you ready? Are you ready, boy? Yeah, I'm ready. For some rough. I like a rough. May I remind you, this is a T-rated game. It's basically just another gauntlet style of gameplay that I could really care less about, and there's a misconception here as hitting a low blow on a lady should have no effect. But I guess adding a slide whistle fixes every problem. I freaking hate this game, but it sure has its moments. So yeah, if you get far, you'll earn points, which I assume is how you rank up and unlock superstars, more sections of the arena, and other shit. But I couldn't be bothered, so if you want to try it out, may your god be with you. I do know Vince Russo is a playable character in the game. If I put in the effort, I could make Jim Cornette and emulate what that fantastic one-sided assault would be like. But I could not be asked, even if you paid me. Backstage Assault was universally panned by most critics and gamers, except for the game zone, but who the hell are they anyway? I've also seen the sales numbers for this game was around 200,000 copies, which I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is. In any case, EA saw it as a failure and decided to go back to the tried and true form of wrestling in a game that actually worked, with a sequel to WCW Mayhem to be released on the PS2, and Aki was brought in to develop, but all that fell to the wayside when WCW was bought by Vince McMahon and the WWF, meaning that Backstage Assault was the final World Championship Wrestling game to ever be released. Kind of depressing, but also appropriate in some ways. After this is over, I'm gonna go find Cody and kick his stupid ass for putting me through the hell I've been through tonight. Granted, it wasn't the very worst that I was expecting, but still pretty bad. I don't know what y'all were expecting, but I hope it was nothing good, cause then I don't know what you were expecting. I know some of you nerds are smart and should have known what was coming, but to the oblivious, this is one of the worst wrestling games for a reason. On PS1, the graphics are abysmal, though you can play it, but you're gonna ask yourself in five minutes if you really want to. A majority of what you want, or what could make this game a little more tolerable, is locked behind playing more of this crap, and I'd rather keep my hands clean of this shit. On Nintendo 64, it's more of the same except even slower. May look a tiny bit better, but I'd argue it's slightly worse just due to the control scheme. There's no reason for anyone to buy this game, even if it is the last WCW game, and a very low selling one. It's bad, it's the worst, and its gimmick works better in other games that have an actual wrestling ring too, 
so it has no reason to exist. And I wish someone could be passionate enough to destroy these games, as they are destroying copies of Shaq Fu. I might as well take up that role, but right now I give the PS1 version one and a half stars, and the N64 version gets one star because of the controls. I do not care if it was adequate or not. I've served my time, and I've got some unfinished business. Hey, Alex, we got a time. Hey, what the fuck? Can it, Alex? I know what you did making me go through all that hell. What are you talking about? You reported me to the higher-ups because I kept beating your little bitch ass up all the time so they could make me play that dog shit in backstage assaults. Now why would I do that, you idiot? I could take you on any day. So you're telling me you didn't do it? No! I've been practicing for the pinball tournament these past few weeks. I don't got time for petty shit like that. But I was wondering if you could spare a few hundred dollars for this Royal Rumble pinball I've been eyeing. Shut up! Jacob, you son of a bitch! What is going on here? Alex, come on now. Is that any way to talk about our mother? You mother Alex, seriously, you know she's watching this. What do you think she would do to you if she found out you said these things? Sorry, Mom. But Brian, what the hell are you doing on my show? Well, I thought it was obvious. I complained about you giving that chair shot to me in public. You're becoming too much of a nuisance for me, taking away my viewership. Having the spotlight that I started for you. And I'm sorry to say, but your time is up, bro. It's my time now, as it always has been over my dead body. That could be arranged, but that's too easy. I could also delete your videos too, but that's easy as well. Plus they make me a little extra dough, so I present to you a compromise. What is it? Another review, game of my choosing. You do your thing like normal, but we have a match in the middle. And if you win, Russellbound stays on the channel. You keep doing what you're doing, I leave you alone, we go our separate ways. But when I win, your days on Jacobians are over. That's it, bro. Creative freedom or your content. Do we have a deal? You're on. Splendid! I'll get the game ready. Please hold. Little does he know, I've been practicing this game for months now. I'm practically unbeatable. The original, Smackdown vs. Raw, is my game. <laughs> Ha 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 